Hello loving folks, nice to meet you all once again on my channel, Time to Change Me in 10 Minutes. Today, I'm going to discuss with you a very important topic about how we can overcome temptations through happiness and hope. Many people in today's world want to overcome temptation through efforts, resolution and determination. But you would realize, no matter how hard you try to avoid the temptations on the path of life, you realize you end up doing the same thing again. Why? When our heart is filled with unhappy thoughts, it attracts our body to be unhappy. And when our heart is filled with happy thoughts, it attracts our, our body to be happy as well. But because the world of mind is invisible, many people end up having a dark life and they suffer. But today, I would like to share with you a story about a man and his family and how he was led on the path of misery. This man wasn't so rich but he had a happy family and a happy life. But at a certain point in time, he realized his wife was hiding something from him. Not too long, he noticed his wife was going out dancing. And in their country and in their culture, to go out dancing with the opposite sex is something that was frowned upon. So he would talk with his wife and would sincerely beg him not to go out dancing, but it all resulted in endless fighting. Later, the man found out it was his sister-in-law who was taking the wife out to dancing. So he gathered up courage to go and talk with the sister-in-law. When he met the sister-in-law, what he heard from her was so shocking to him. She despised him so much and rained insults upon him. Just then, he lost control of his mind. And before he could come back to his senses, he realized he had a knife with blood on his hand and his sister-in-law laid in a pool of blood dead. Then he thought to himself, oh my God, what have I done? I've killed someone. So he thought, ah, my life is ruined now. With a knife, he started to scream and threatening everybody to kill everyone. Soon, the police arrived on the scene and he was arrested. He went for trial and he was sent to prison. As he lived his life in prison, he began to think, what did I do wrong? What is it that I said to my sister-in-law that was wrong? Ah, oh, those people have completely ruined my life. So as he thought and thought about this, his heart was filled with rage and revenge towards the wife and the family. So as he lived in the prison, he became a good behavior inmate in order to be released early so that he would come out and take revenge on his wife. But one day, it happened that he met a pastor whilst in prison. Then, as the pastor began to talk with this man, he asked him, think about it. There is still life after prison. Do not think there is no hope for you. So your heart is being dragged on the path of darkness. After prison, imagine you go to your son's graduation, give him flowers and congratulate him. Even though it's something very little to do, but how much happy your son would be. Imagine your son has a fiancé who he would want to marry and you invite your son and his fiancé over to dinner for a conversation. How much happy 
and how much hope you would be given to your son. Also, think about it. Your son gives birth to a son and you offer a little money for the upkeep of your grandson and you get a chance to name your grandson. How much hope and how much amazing it will be. As he kept listening to the pastor one by one, hope began to fill his heart and the heart of him wanting to take revenge, the heart of him wanting to go back and kill everybody and end his life totally disappeared. Hope was sold on the field of despair of his heart. Soon he was released and he now lives a normal and a happy life with a new family. Loving folks, today when people meet temptation in their hearts, they struggle and they are lost and they do not know and they make extreme measures to end it all. But when there is hope inside of the heart, when there is happiness, when the heart is filled with it, then it will have the strength to overcome all those dark thoughts. In Israel, there is a story about a certain woman who committed adultery. And in Israel, there is a law. If one is caught committing adultery, he or she has to be stoned to death. So this woman who was caught committing adultery was being dragged to be stoned to death. Let's think about her heart. Inside her heart was filled with what? Darkness, regret, pain, and death. There was no way for her to come out of the situation. Just then, the people that were leading her to stone her decided to send her to Jesus and ask what should be done to her. When this woman stood before Jesus, he asked the people, he who is without sin should first cast a stone at her. Just then, all of them, being conscience stricken by the words of Jesus, put down their stone one by one, from the youngest to the eldest, and they left all this woman. This woman became totally free from the mind of death, from fear. And let's think about her heart now. How much happy, how much thankful, how much peaceful her heart would be. Just a little while ago, her heart, which was filled with fear, which was filled with pain, which was filled with what? Death was now replaced with what? Thankfulness is now replaced with what? The love of Jesus Christ. Although she cannot live with Jesus Christ forever, but she became a new person. She had a new life and a new mind. And she became the person who had strength in her heart and wouldn't live this dark life any longer. When the heart of gratitude entered her, when the heart of the love of Jesus Christ came into her, she had the strength to overcome everything in her heart. Loving people, today, what are you also struggling to overcome? Is it an addiction? Is it sin? Is it a dark life? What is dragging you into suffering, into pain, into fear? Just like this woman who gained hope through the words of Jesus Christ, I believe if you can, your heart can also be filled with hope towards a savior, with thankfulness towards parents, towards the family, then you can live a very bright and a happy life. Loving folks, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and get notified on a new video when it comes. Thank you.